Today we will see how to install any distribution of Linux in Windows 10, without using VirtualBox or dual booting. So without further ado, let's get started. Please note that you should be in Windows version 2004 or above for this to work. All the codes used in this video are given below in the description. So the first step would be, enabling Linux subsystem feature. To do that, open a PowerShell as an admin, paste the first code. Then we need to enable the virtual machine platform feature. To do that, copy the second code and paste it in the PowerShell. Once done, set the WSL version to 2 with the third code. Do that by running the third command in the PowerShell. Once done. Close the PowerShell and open Microsoft Store. Search for Linux. Boom! See how many distributions of Linux are available. Even Kali Linux can be installed in Windows. For now we will install Ubuntu 20.4. Click Ubuntu 20.4 and press Install. Skip the login if needed. Once the installation is over, Open Ubuntu by pressing Launch. You also can launch by, searching for Ubuntu in Start menu. Now give your Linux a username. We will call it DropCorp. Now give it a password. And that's it. You are officially into the Ubuntu. Now you can stop watching here, but if you want to install a GUI to your Ubuntu, do watch through the rest of the video. Let's update the Ubuntu with the update command. Copy the command and paste it in the terminal. If prompted, enter your Ubuntu password, as sudo requires elevated privileges. Go have a cup of coffee as it will take some time. A few moments later. Now let's download XRDP packages, which are required for a graphical login. Copy and paste the command. Once that is done, let's install the xr2p packages with the install command. If you had noticed, when I ran the xr2p git command, an error was thrown. Because I had already downloaded the packages, so no packages were left to download. But in your case you won't face any such issues. Once that is done, let's install the SCC4 packages. It's a lightweight GUI. You can also install other versions of GUI if you want. Copy the SCC4 install command. When prompted, select the GDM3 display adapter, and press tab and enter. Now let's install SCF goodies. They are nothing but extra files needed to run the GUI. Now we will be editing a few lines in the xrdp file. Before that let's take a backup of the file. Copy the command and press enter. Now let's set the port number to 3389 and 3390. Through this port we will access the GUI. The next three lines of codes are used to set the resolution of the GUI simply copy and paste. Now we will edit a few lines in start wm file. We will use nano editor for this. Copy the command and press enter. You will take into the editor. There, scroll down to the bottom and delete the last two lines and, replace them with the one given.
Then add the two lines XFCE and start XFCE4. To save the file, press Ctrl and F. Press Y, Enter and Enter. Now let's open the GUI by entering the XRDP start command. As you see the remote server started. Now open remote desktop management. If you have disabled remote management, you might need to enable it. Type localhost, colon, 3390 and press enter. We are into the Ubuntu, enter your username and password. We are inside now. Let's see if things are working properly by downloading Firefox. That's it folks, hope you liked this video. Any queries, drop a comment. If you liked our content, watch our other videos as well. Have a nice day.